Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, The Midnight Terror Cave. It was just before midnight on a warm evening in 2006 when a Mennonite farmer living in western Belize heard the cries of a man in the distance. This man had fallen into a cave and was badly hurt. It turns out he was a looter and he had been drawn to the cave in search of Maya artifacts that he wanted to sell on the black market. Well, he fell into a cave ripe with artifacts. They just weren't exactly the type he was looking for. Rather than coming across jewels and pieces of gold, he discovered a treasure trove of bones and human skulls spread across the cave floor. These skeletons belonged to humans who had been sacrificed about 1,000 years ago. An archaeological expedition went to the cave in 2008, led by James Brady from California. The farmer who found the screaming looter had dubbed the place the Midnight Terror Cave, and that's what scientists are still calling it. Not long into their investigation, they realized they were dealing with a major site of ritual sacrifice in the days of the Maya. They found what can only be described as an astonishing number of human bones. Over 10,000 bones were found littering the cave, with many of them having belonged to children between the ages of 6 and 14. However, we are not sure why the Midnight Terror Cave was such an important place of sacrifice for the Maya. They didn't exactly write down the details of why they were killing so many innocent people inside the cave, offering the dead to their gods. But whatever their reason, it must have been intense. Would you be brave enough to explore this cave? Let me know if you would dare. Number 9. Tam Kao Luang The underground sanctuary of Tam Kao Luang is located in the old Thai town of Fechaburi. From the blistering heat of the jungle, one can descend into the depths of the cool, dimly lit cave. It's almost like stepping from one world into another. But it's not the cool shade of the cave that makes it so fascinating, but rather the Buddha statues that occupy the natural cavities in its limestone walls. At the bottom of the cave, visitors are faced with rows and rows of Buddhas. And then, when they get to the bottom, there is a great hallway carved into the rock, with rows of even smaller Buddha statues surrounding it, complemented by a massive image of the Buddha at the very center. Once a day between February and April, the sun shines directly through a sinkhole on the roof of the cavern, beaming light directly onto the largest Buddhist statue. It's quite impressive, especially since the cave is usually empty or watched over by just one monk. This ancient sanctuary was built about a century ago during the rule of King Chula Longkorn. The king originally wanted to build a great temple on the peak of Khao Luang Mountain, but decided it would be more interesting to build it deep in the depths of the cave instead. The only thing we don't know is where all the Buddha statues came from. Most of them were brought to the site by Buddhist pilgrims and could have come from anywhere in the world. Number 8. Cave of Monsters In a horrifying cave that was sealed off from the outside world for 5 million years, Dr. Christian Lasku discovered 33 unbelievable monsters. These monsters had been sealed inside Mobile Cave in Romania since the time prehistoric beasts still wandered across the earth. The cave is nothing short of a natural phenomenon. Because it was closed off from the world for so long, no fresh air was able to reach its depths. Eventually, the air within the cave became toxic and horribly humid. Humans can't even walk into this cave without protective equipment or they'll suffocate and die. As you can probably imagine, the life forms that manage to thrive here aren't exactly the cuddliest. So far, scientists have identified 48 different species of creatures living inside the prehistoric time capsule. 33 of them are found in the Mobile Cave and nowhere else on the planet. And I'm talking spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. They've existed in a creepy yet peaceful utopia inside the cave for longer than humans have been alive. Because there is no natural sunlight, the organisms have developed some pretty weird features. Most of them are white or pinkish translucent, none of them have eyeballs, and they've all developed extra long antennae and limbs so they have an easier time moving around in the dark. What do you think about these creepy crawlies? Let me know in the comments below! Number 7. The Lives of Neanderthals A cave chamber was discovered in Gibraltar that hadn't been opened for tens of thousands of years. Now, that's nowhere close to 5 million. There were no creepy, crawly monsters, but there were some interesting finds involving our friends, the Neanderthals. It was archaeologists with the Gibraltar National Museum who started digging through the chambers and passages of the Vanguard Cave in 2012. This cave is part of the larger Gorham's Cave Complex, 
which happens to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Just about a decade after they started looking through blocked passages, they came upon the most interesting chamber yet. They found a cavern deep in the back of the cave filled with the decayed remains of vultures and lynxes, as well as scratch marks on the walls made by some kind of mysterious cave creature. But they also found the remains of a marine mollusk, which had probably been brought into the chamber by a Neanderthal who once lived here. It's interesting because the mollusk's remains have been dated to 40,000 years ago, the exact time the Neanderthals disappeared, probably pushed into extinction by modern humans. This would have been one of the very last remaining Neanderthals, packing his bounty from the sea back into the deepest and darkest corner of the cave to feast. But experts don't know what could have made the strange scratches on the wall, nor why there were so many ancient remains of vultures. It's all pretty strange. Number 6. The Toothy Snail A newly discovered snail inside of a cave is one of the weirdest scientists have ever found. In northern Spain, Dr. Adrian Joshum and researchers from Germany collected information on 57 gastropod populations. They went into a variety of Spanish caves and documented and analyzed all the snails they could find. And while most of them were already known to science, the one I'm telling you about now is new. The snail is from an entirely new genus, discovered in the Cantabrian Mountains in Spain. They named it Iberozospium. And while that name is kind of boring, the snail is not. It stands out because it has a transparent shell and a pair of vampire-like pronged teeth in its mouth. But it doesn't use its teeth for killing. It's more like a two-pronged rake to sift through the mud on the bottom of the cave and slurp up food particles. Pretty cool, huh? There's lots of creatures waiting to be discovered if you just have the patience to look. Number 5. The Depths of Mammoth Cave If you've never heard of Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, you're missing out. It is the longest cave in the world, but apparently it might be even bigger than anyone thought. We already knew that only a small fraction of the cave has ever been mapped or explored, and now researchers believe they've identified an extra 8 miles of passages, making the cave even longer. As for the history of this ancient place, it was first explored by the prehistoric Native Americans about 5,000 years ago. Based on archaeological discoveries in modern times, Researchers are confident the Native Americans explored and utilized about 19 miles of cave passages. They didn't push past the surface as they had no need to tunnel down into the bowels of what they must have assumed was hell, but they did sometimes use it as a burial ground. In the 19th century, archaeologists came across Native American remains, most of them mummified by the cold and lifeless air of the cave. In total, there are at least 600 miles of uninterrupted tunnels and passages leading through the dark and damp underground. There are over 200 caves connected via these tunnels and passages, all carved by thousands of years of soft limestone dissolved by rain and raging underground rivers. Out of the enormous amount of underground tunnels, 420 miles of them are completely unexplored. Have you ever been to Mammoth Cave? What was your experience like? Let us know in the comments below! Number 4. The Beer Cave A cave that had been lost to time was just recently rediscovered in a St. Louis neighborhood. As you might already know, Missouri is home to 6,400 caves. It's the most famous state for caving and underground adventures. Plenty of those caves happen to be located right underneath the city streets of St. Louis. If you're familiar with the city, you'll probably know about its long history of beer making. So, it only makes sense that brewing and caving go hand in hand. Bill Krantz of McHose and English Cave Recovery was behind this most recent discovery. He and his team lowered a special LiDAR scanning unit down into the cave to map out its depths. The issue was that the cave's entrance had collapsed a long time ago, so there was no way into the place. Bill had to drill a hole and stick his scanning device through it. As it turned out, the cave is quite small only about 30 feet wide and 15 feet tall. It had been sealed for around 100 years. But before that, it had a variety of uses. The team was able to see that the cave had not only been used for storing ale and brewing beer, but also for farming mushrooms and as a wine grotto. City records show the cave had even been used as a community garden before it eventually collapsed. What's cool is that this is just one of the dozens of caves hidden underneath St. Louis many of them used for brewing beer and storing ale. This goes back to the 1800s, when locals in Missouri realized natural caves made great cellars for beer storage. 
there's probably a lot more beer waiting to be found. Number three, the Lair of Hercules. The Lair of Hercules is supposedly located in the mysterious caves of Karaftu in modern Iran. The caves are over 6,500 feet above sea level and have seen a lot over the years. They were almost certainly occupied by a garrison of Seleucid fighters from the Seleucid Empire that ruled the region after Alexander the Great died in 323 BC. Hundreds of years later, the caves were likely used as rest stops for weary merchants moving along the Silk Road from China to Europe. But by far, the most interesting thing ever discovered in the caves of Karaftu is a simple inscription written in Greek. It was found in the 19th century by European explorers and was translated to read, Here is the home of Hercules. Whoever enters this cave will be safe. It's difficult to know exactly what was meant by the inscription. Was this the home of a person named Hercules? Or was this cave somehow tied to the mythical figure of Hercules? Nobody knows but it had great significance to someone 2,000 years ago. Do you think that Hercules was an actual person or just a myth? Let me know in the comments. Number two, a new species of human. An entirely new species of human was discovered deep in a cave in the Philippines. Foot and hand bones, as well as some teeth and a partial leg bone were uncovered in Callao Cave, belonging to a previously undiscovered creature. This creature lived on the Philippine island of Luzon sometime between 50,000 and 67,000 years ago. That's about the same time our human ancestors were leaving Africa. The creatures, ancient offshoots of humans, were very real hobbits like from the Lord of the Rings. Based on the bone structure, scientists confirmed them to be a maximum of about three feet tall. They weren't exactly a direct ancestor of humans, but a kind of cousin species. In other words, they took a slightly different evolutionary route away from ancient primates on their way to humanity. But they never made it. They evolved into human-like dwarves who lived in caves, a kind of pygmy-human species. Then they went extinct for an unknown reason. They never even made it off the island, at least not according to the archaeological evidence. They appeared to have been restricted to this one small piece of land, which could explain why they just kind of faded away. Number 1. The Lascaux Cave Paintings It was in September of 1940 that four French teenagers wandered into a cave and made a shocking discovery. It happened in the woods near the village of Montignac when the kids allegedly lost their dog and went searching for it. Looking for their lost friend brought them to a secret tunnel and a gaping hole in the ground where they thought they might be able to find buried treasure. What they found instead after descending a narrow shaft about 50 feet into the earth was a cave with its walls covered in unbelievable paintings. News of the cave spread, and it wasn't long before archaeologists and anthropologists started investigating. The cave turned out to be one of the largest prehistoric galleries on the planet. Many of the paintings within the French cave date back to 15,000 BC, or 17,000 years ago. They show extinct species of bulls called aurochs, ancient massive horses, and strange figures of a man with the head of a bird. It's believed ancient shamans carried out rituals inside the cave, and the locals left their knowledge on its walls in the form of paintings. Sadly, the thousands of early visitors to the Lascaux Caves damaged and erased much of the artwork. The atmosphere inside the cave is so thick that many visitors fainted. All the breathing created moisture, mold developed, and installed artificial lighting caused the paintings to fade. The cave was finally closed to the public in 1963, but by then, much of the artwork was already heavily damaged. Would you ever wander into a strange dark cave that you found in the woods? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.